Hello again, everyone. I'm Tim Williams. And I'm Lynn Bowie. Welcome to all of you streaming us this noon. Catherine Pugh resigned as Baltimore's mayor in 2019 in the middle of a scandal over a kickback scheme involving a series of children's books which she wrote. Sentenced in 2020 to three years in a federal prison in Alabama, she was now released a year earlier. WJZ investigator Mike Halgren is live at City Hall with more on what led to the former mayor's fall from grace. And also, Mike, what happens next? Tim, Lynn, you know, we've been, uh, her lawyers have been working for some time to get her out of prison. She is now under the supervision of an agency that helps people transition to halfway houses. Thank you. In 2016, Catherine Pugh finally made it, the pinnacle of her long political career being elected mayor. If anyone were to ever ask me, what is my dream job, this is it. But soon it all came crashing down an indictment, resignation, and guilty plea. I think the first thing I should do is apologize to the citizens of Baltimore who put their faith and trust in me as their mayor. And now, Pew is out early on supervised release, freed from the Alabama prison where she served almost two years of a three-year sentence for fraud and tax evasion. It was all part of an elaborate scheme. Pew used her position on the board of the University of Maryland Medical System to get them to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on her Healthy Holly books, which cost little to produce. Many were supposed to be donated to city schools, which found them unusable. On top of it, Pew was only delivering a fraction of those books, sometimes selling the same ones again to others who did business with the city and pocketing the cash and not reporting it on her taxes. Do you expect it to, to be able to recover what was lost? Last year, WJZ spoke exclusively with the IRS and FBI about their investigation. She was ordering books that she wasn't printing and then she was double selling them. Yeah, that's brazen. The FBI showed us some of the remaining Healthy Holly books and the onesies, bibs, and jump ropes that the mayor said were part of an expanded Healthy Holly line of products. They'd not been publicly seen since Pew's bizarre press conference in March of 2019, where she spoke in a whisper and showed off the items at City Hall. Walk, run, cross. It's unclear what Pew's future plans are. She had a strong network of friends who even held prayer vigils at her home as the scandal unfolded. This was her last public statement. I uh, look forward to rebuilding my life and getting myself back together. Pew had tried to get out of prison even earlier, begging former President Trump for clemency as he left office. Her exact location today has not been publicly disclosed. Live this noon in City Hall, Mike Helgren, WJZ.